If I zoom in, you can kind of see it a little bit better there as well. So let's focus on just getting this and then the arm, we can do that a bit later. So let's kind of just hide everything for now. Actually, hold on, we don't want to hide everything. We want to make sure that we have a scale that's decent. So let's start off with a cube. And let's just start figuring out a good scale for this. Um, so it's going to be angle kind of like that. Get this to like this. Let's just get the windshield wiper in here. So this is kind of, that's kind of like a decent wiper size, I think. Something like that. Think and then duplicate it. Yeah, I mean, I, I can always rescale it later. But okay, so let's get this going here. Um, it's gonna be a windshield wiper. Obviously, it's gonna be big. And I'm just looking over at my reference on my other screen. So obviously. We need to add another one here. Let's extrude this. And this is not gonna look right. So let's get some, let's crease up these edges. going obviously this needs to be moved up so I'm just going to do that wipers are kind of like that and then we're going to multi-cut here that's 50% let's go like that there and what happens here is there's kind of sharp Kind of crystal, just kind of sharp up in the middle here. So we're gonna go something like this. We can get this kind of a little bit sharper. And uh, let's move maybe. Why is this acting so weird? Okay, so... I feel like I should have some better wiper reference here. Uh, yeah, no, that's not bad. That's not bad. I feel like this needs to be kind of in like that a little bit more. And let's bring this back to what it was before. Now, why is this acting so weird? It might be because I had changed my camera. That might be why. I don't know. Maybe. That is definitely not what it was before. Um, let's go world. Okay. Okay. Maybe that's why. Maybe it was because of it was in object mode. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know why it's acting really weird. Maybe it's because it's in object mode. Um, okay. Sure. Whatever.
go. And then some of these wipers kind of it kind of goes in a bit. Increase this as well. There we go. And then what we'll do is we will. Um, so we've got this going for us. Let me look at my other reference here. So it kind of thins out a tad bit. It also looks. Okay, let me just get this also creased up as well. Obviously, it's going to be down here. Let's treat that. Down a bit. And then let's get on. Let's just go. Scale this in. Scale this in as well. There's a bulge here that should be coming out. So let me just bring this out a bit more. And then I think I need to actually put another, another one here. But what this one is going to do. This one is going to kind of bring this in like that. I'm going to take Leave that like that. And then we'll build the arms afterwards, and I'll just use that deformer. How's it going, legit? Jit 08, how's it going, man? Thank you. It's coming along. Uh, now, something's going weird here. I got a. are all over the place right now so I'm just gonna try and fix that there. There okay again I don't want to put too much detail because I don't think anyone's really gonna be looking at the wipers it's just something that I it was bugging me because it was just missing and obviously missing if someone was looking at it But in most cases, most people probably won't even notice it. But just in case someone is looking, um, I have it covered. You're a modeling addict. Are you currently working right now, uh, JIT08? Or are you just modeling for fun? Uh, 
Okay, so let's see here. So let's go. So it looks like it has like a slight curve. A very subtle curve. It's not much of a curve. So if I just kind of take this, curve it like that. Kind of looks like it's doing something like that. And then it's also obviously it's gotta be curve like this onto the car. And let's get this into object mode. you really want to be precise, I'm just going to bring this tab it down to kind of give that nice little curve. And even this one goes slightly down a bit. So, there we go. Something like that. Oh, nice, man. Uh, what, uh, what studio um, and whereabouts? Uh, this is mostly for fun. Um, if it'll probably be in on my portfolio or on my website, but it's definitely not, in my opinion, definitely not game uh, ready. But if it renders out nicely, then yeah, I'll probably end up putting it on my portfolio. But um, yeah, there's just lots of problems with it that I know wouldn't uh, fly if this was in a studio. I feel like I feel like the windshield wiper is a tad bit big for sure. So I need to scale this down a bit. It's more something along those lines, I think. Yeah, that's probably the right size here. This is going to lay down a little bit more like that. And then I still need to model the arms that kind of go into it, so I'll do that as well. Um, but first, I should probably should UV this. I probably should UV one. Uh, let me just fix this a tad bit here. check my reference so this one kind of goes about there so this one is relatively closer to the reference so like that. and yeah okay that's probably a little bit better um, this one almost goes all the way to here I think something like that looks good um, it's good that you know what is studio ready. I'm currently working for Incredible Technologies Casino Company, but here in Vegas. Did I go to school for three modeling? Yes, I did. I went to the Art Institute of Vancouver, or the Art Institute. I think that's a little bit more well known. Uh, working for a casino company, that's pretty cool.
So are you doing a lot of, um, I guess, like the games uh, for the casino, or are you doing the marketing stuff? a bit longer. This side is a tad bit longer. And honestly, this stuff here is a lot smaller. Yeah. There you go. This was looking a little bit odd. Figured it out. It's actually not that large. This little bulge thing. It's actually quite small. In this grand scheme of things. I'm just going to bring this bend in a tad bit on this side. Oh wow, dude, you're doing everything. That's pretty awesome, man. Um, what software are you using to model? Yeah, dude, I feel you, man. I feel you. It's just one of those things, right, where um, you're just happy to to have a job, and um, I'm not sure if you went to school for 3D modeling as well, but uh, if you did, or even if you didn't, um, spending all those hours and all those all that time on something, right? It's nice to see um, see that it led to something. So. almost into the hood okay so it's starting to get hard to look at that here so let's take a look here so this is gonna go about okay so let's see so this is gonna go never center silo never even heard of that program interesting uh, 3d studio max nice I don't see too many um, streamers stream 3d studio max I actually don't see too many streamers streaming Maya either. Um, it's mostly a lot of ZBrush I've been noticing. Um, lots of ZBrush. Okay, why is this acting so weird today? Selection is just acting all weird. Ugh, come on. My selection. Three dollars on Twitch. Quite surprising you're ahead of the curve. Oh no. It's either I'm ahead of the curve or I am trying to accomplish something that um, someone or everyone else has tried and has failed. And maybe I'm, um, maybe I'm behind that. So it can go both ways. Can go both ways. Um, so I guess I guess I'll find out in in a few in a few months um, if I. Uh, 
if it's a, if it's a success or not. I find that when it comes to sculpting, because when you're sculpting uh, in ZBrush, uh, I be, uh, people just they're just really you get to see results a lot, really quick. And maybe that's what people want to see on Twitch, right? They want to see a little more action, maybe? I don't know. I'm just making up stuff now at this point. I actually don't know. But because when it comes to 3D modeling, sometimes it takes time, right? Until you finally uh, see something. So, okay, so I feel like this is not... But who knows? I mean, maybe um, there just hasn't been many Maya streamers. I mean, if you've been watching uh, 3D modeling streams a lot, maybe you can tell me. Because in my, I have only just started, so I don't really know. So there we go, got some wipers on there, um, I need to UV them. So let's, oh man, this is always the not fun part is UVing, especially when it comes to viewers, like, people don't like watching UVing, uh, but it is what it is, I guess, right? So let's go into this, let's make sure we have everything turned on to the right settings. So let's go, I don't want to combine these right now, might be worth it to combine it, I guess I can always combine it later, not a big deal. 